Today we're gonna do an exciting sales dashboard. It's split into two workflows. The first workflow is the workflow that we see in front of us. It starts with an email trigger. This waits on any email that is coming through your attached account. So any email that I get that is unseen, give me a notification or trigger this whole workflow. The second step is we will check if the sender is within these domains. Whenever we get an email from that, it will be true and it will continue to the next check. And then the next one, subject check. And here we're saying that if the subject contains sale, sold, or payment of, then proceed and continue. And then after both of these are done, we'll go to our AI thinking agent has a structured output as this schema. And then of course, as I said, I want a structured. So here the structure would be product. It's a string price. It's a number date. And then we need to update the database. It has product price type and date. This is all what we need to have the dashboard. The second one, this is the one that will keep on updating our dashboard. It starts with a webhook. This webhook has, of course, a production URL. I've put a credentials for this. So I can create new credentials and I could have authorization and then I generate a long string of text as a password and I hit save. This will give our webhook a password and then in the respond, you should always say respond to webhook node because there's a respond to webhook at the end. So when this is triggered, we just go and get the sales information and then we aggregate them into one field and then we'll respond with all the items that we got back the webhook. So I go to Lovable here and here I put a long prompt on what I want exactly for the dashboard. So let's just click enter. There you go. So we have our sales dashboard it has the current month sales and it gives us the last month sales. It gives us this year and the total sales so far. And here it gives us daily sales by type and here by month. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you in the next one.